Hi, I'm Mark. And this is Deb. We're with Fowski & Associates. We're here to help you today, just in case you're doing a new dust collector or some other type of equipment that you need to know how exposable is my dust or powders in my operation. Well, we're gonna go do that today. Let's do it, Deb. Hold on a second, Mark. Before we get started, let's make sure we're wearing proper safety equipment. Hard hat, safety glasses, and depending on the nature of the material that you're handling, you may wish to implement other safety measures, such as gloves or a dust mask. Let's do it. When collecting your sample, you want a fairly large container and a natural bristle brush. It helps to reduce the potential for static discharge. Depending on your material, even the smallest spark could be hazardous. I need at least one to two pounds of material. The best representation of the material in your process can be found inside your dust collector's filter. You can get additional material from the bin beneath the dust collector. If you don't have a dust collector, there are other areas where you can collect your material. From the light fixture, from the rafters, I-beams, and ductwork. How did she get around so fast? Finer particles tend to accumulate on elevated surfaces. So you want to collect that material the same way that you did out of the dust collector. Now we're ready to ship the material for testing. Be sure to double check the weight to ensure you have at least one to two pounds of material. The sample name you provide will be the name on the report. Provide any special instructions that you may have like if you want to test per OSHA standards or if you want to return any unused sample once testing is complete. Include the safety data sheet, sample test options form, payment information, along with your material. We've packaged our material to ensure limited movement during transit. Follow us along our journey with the dust. Fowski & Associates, world leader in nuclear and chemical process safety.